This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. What stands between a yummy mummy and a flabby tummy? I had a baby six weeks ago. I have, I guess, nine or 10 pounds to go. Because this is number two, and after number two, the tummy just goes south. And I have much extra pounds down here. It's all there. Samantha is a new mom who's frantic to drop her postpartum blubber. And I would give anything for someone to take it away. Come on, Sam, let's go. In desperation, Sam has turned to the last 10 pounds boot camp. Ah! Push, oh, push. Come on, Sam, Come on. you're done. Welcome to boot camp. Oh, yeah, there's more. Lots more. So this was the um, smallest I've been. It was 114 pounds, and I had my belly button ring, and I want it back. <laughs> this Aussie Dynamo used to work out religiously and fit into a size zero. I did it. But since becoming a new mom, her diet is out of control. I think I gained the most weight after the pregnancy. I just had a little bit of anxiety and depression, and I think I turned to food more than anything else. Sam has an unhealthy relationship with fries. So these are what got me through my pregnancy, and this is the problem, right there. You take me to a gourmet restaurant, and I want my fries. She's also got a soft spot for ice cream. When I eat ice cream and chocolate sauce, I just feel fantastic. <laughs> the hardest food to cut out for me, I think, is going to be junk food, snack food, and dessert. Sam's flab hasn't budged in ages and it's affected her relationship with her husband, Sean. Since I have put on weight, we're not as intimate, and he often asks what happened to the old Sam. <laughs> When's she gonna come back? With a New Year's bash coming up, it's time for a change. I wanna go and wear my nice clothes and walk in and everyone just goes, wow, she's back. <laughs> I'm Tommy Europe, a former pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. For the next four weeks, we're gonna push Sam to the limit. Ready or not, boot camp starts now. Sam Weiss, Sam Weiss, attention. Sam Weiss, Tommy hey. Europe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'll be your personal trainer for the next four weeks. Excellent. Nadine Bowman, nutrition specialist. Hello. Hello. Welcome. You've just signed up for the last 10 pounds boot camp. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> It's time to go to work. Measurements. Bust, 37. 37 inches. And waist. Waist. 33. 33. Hips. 39. <laughs> 39 inches. How do you feel about that? Not impressed. Not impressed? No. Think you got what it takes to lose it? I do. All right. Yes. You ended now, so. I know, now I've got no choice. And the drum roll for the weight, 100. 39 pounds. I don't know, we're gonna need a huge commitment here. Are you ready? I'm ready. 100%? 100%. No excuses? No excuses. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Your boot camp experience will begin. All right. That was scary. <laughs> we're targeting Samantha's jelly belly. Our goal, get her weight down to a healthy 129 pounds. Back at Sam's kitchen, Nadine has opened a Pandora's box of unhealthy eating. Dips. One's French onion, one's veggie, but you know what? Just because it says veggie on it doesn't mean it's good for you. Five minute super quick fries. These are deep fried in oil before they're packaged up for you to eat. Trail mix. Everyone thinks this stuff's good for you. It's not. 10 grams of fat per serving, 20 grams of sugar. And what are we really trying to get when we're eating this stuff? Fiber and protein, three grams each. That's it. It's got to go. This stuff is finally where it belongs. Meanwhile, I'm treating Samantha to a sexy new outfit. OK, Sam, our goal today to find you a dress for your New Year's Eve party. All right. The sky's the limit. 
shop around, we're gonna pick something out for you. But nothing comes without a cost, you and oh boy, like have I got a surprise in store for Sam. So what's the verdict, Sam? It's not too bad. It's kind of plain, though. Yeah, it's still <laughs> sort of the arms. And... I think he can find something a little bit better. That's it, yeah, I think so. It's a little bit too boring. OK, Sam, what's uh, number three look like? What do you think? That oh, I like. Shirt. That I really like. I think Sean will love it. Like How's it fit? Up. Really comfy, really good. You like it like that? Yeah. What size is that anyway? The pants are a size 8 and the tops are small. Can I get the top in an extra small, please? And the pants? Size 6. Am I going to fit into that? I don't know, are you? Let's go, let's go. It's physical as well as mental. Is it burning? Yep. Good. <laughs> I've been, it was 114 pounds. Samantha's weight ballooned during her pregnancy, and now she's desperate to drop the flag. We have to lie down. This transplanted Aussie wants to get the romance back into her marriage and knock everyone out in a sexy new outfit. And the pants, size six. Am I gonna fit into that? We're here today to perform the drill test. Want those legs to burn. The drill test is the first step in boot camp. Good. This is where I assess Sam's physical condition Squatting down. and mental stamina. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Let's go, let's go. Onto the rack, on your back. No arch in the back, keep it going. For Sam, the way she's been training before, she's really been isolating muscle groups. I'm gonna get her doing more full body exercises, lots of cardio, just to get some of that softness out of the way. This is physical as well as mental. I feel good, but I'm gonna be sore. I haven't been pushed like that for a while. Now, you're gonna run 10 yards, full speed. <laughs> Turn around, come back to me. Come on, Sam, let's go. Let's go, let's go. I can breathe, just. <laughs> We're gonna work some of those abductor muscles, glute medius. <laughs> get low, get low, get low. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> You've just completed the drill test. It hurts here and there. And my arms and my hands. Red, red. I'm alive. I need to be pushed. So it's perfect, and I think it's going to be great once I get fit again. <laughs> keep your eyes closed, keep your eyes closed. Nadine is taking Samantha on a surprise trip down under. Open your eyes. Ah! <laughs> it's a chocolate oh ice cream Ayers Rock. <laughs> oh my God. Gross. Gross. Yeah. Sam's Ayers Rock Sunday, 360 calories Whoa. plus 80 calories for the syrup. That's almost a third of your caloric intake needs for one day. Wow. Mm. From this table, it's pretty obvious that you like your high fat, high calorie snacks. Sam, you're eating about 1,700 grams of carbs per week. And that is yeah. 500 more than you need to be eating. Just to think that I ate that I ate like that, I'm ready to move on. Now that I look at it, no wonder I put on weight. <laughs> well, I know that I feel a lot better when I'm not eating bad, so I think the way I feel will change my attitude when I'm feeling better about myself and healthier and more energetic. It's time to take a look in the fridge and see what we've got for you. Nadine has replaced all the fatty carbs with high protein meals and snacks. All your new food for the week. Three meals and two snacks. All pre-portioned out for you. Lunch. Mm -hmm. Cheese again. Uh -huh. One serving size. Okay. Fiber, nutrient. Do you like mushrooms? Yeah, I do. And eggs. I love eggs. This okay. is a nice healthy protein. We also can add some margarine. And then again, your vegetables. Okay. So we're back to red and green peppers. These are very high in nutrients. It looks small, but when she put it all together, the big picture, it looked good. So I'm excited about it. Sam's a vegetarian, so the new nutrition plan makes sure that she gets the protein she needs. Sam will eat smaller portions more frequently to balance her blood sugar levels, while getting rid of those over-the-top cravings. She's cutting out a lot of high calorie, high fat snacks. If she can just make it through that first week or two, then it might actually get a little bit easier because she can kind of make a habit of it. I know that I can do it, and this is a great opportunity, so I can't let, let it go. All right, Sam, 
Start skipping. Sam has exercised in the past, but now she's flabby and out of shape. Your calves are killing you. Yes. Burning. My fitness plan is going to push her hard with six days a week of cardio and core strengthening in the gym. We break habits here. We're breaking bad habits. <laughs> I just showed Sam a few uh, few exercises that we're going to be using throughout the, the next four weeks in our exercise program. Uh, it's really going to be focused on full body exercises, a lot of stuff through the core. She's kind of soft in the middle, so really want to tighten that up for her. Since she had her baby, she put on the weight and hasn't been able to drop it, so she's really going to have to step it up. Got a baby, right? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> well, stuff like this is going to help you, because you're used to carrying it on one side, I'm sure. Uh -huh. We're going to get both sides going. Oh. Getting a tap on how hard Sam's working, you really have to pay close attention to her because she's not going to complain. I can tell by her form, also by her breathing. Uh, when those start to break down, then I really know I'm really getting to her. I've never really been pushed as much as that. When I'm on my own, I don't do it. I can talk and have a conversation. I can hardly breathe when I'm doing it with Tom. Push, 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 push. Come on. Ow. Three, two, one. You're done for the day. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll just stay down here for the rest of the day. <sighs> Sam, you're almost there. You're almost there. Push, push, push. Come on, Sam. This is boot camp. Let's do it, Sam. Come on. Samantha entered boot camp packing 139 pounds on her petite five foot one frame. Open your eyes. Ah! This new mom is fighting to lose 10 pounds of baby fat, One. rekindle the romance in her marriage, and dazzle everyone in a sexy New Year's Eve outfit. I want to walk in and everyone just goes, wow, she's back. <laughs> Two week weigh in time. I know. Halfway through the program, it's time to face the numbers. Start with these measurements. Bust. Bust. 37 inches. The same. Uh oh. Waist, 31. Down two inches. All right. Hips. Hips. 38. Down one inch. So far, so good. Better than, better than I expected. Let's get your shoes and socks off. Okay. We're going to get you up on the scale. Weight, 136 pounds. We're down three pounds. I thought that I'd actually worked as hard as I could, so I guess I'm going to see if I can work harder and um, get that final seven pounds. We're not done with you yet. It's time to try on the target outfit again. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah. I got the pants on, but I can't do the last two buttons up. I'm at the point now that I could easily crack it just eat <laughs> and just, I'm exhausted. How are you feeling about it? It's depressing. They do up, but oh, it thanks. doesn't look very pretty. Should we see it? No. So disappointed if I don't lose that weight. You know, I just, I have worked so hard and doing push-ups and sit-ups at night time. I know it's what I gotta do, but it's a bit depressing. With so many pounds left to go, I'm gonna kick butt and take Sam to a new level. What's up, Sam? Hi. Ready to work? I am. All right, let's warm you up. Come on, Sam, punch, punch. <sighs> I can't hear you. <clears throat> you know what? Sam needed a good butt kick and uh, really challenged her. Come on. By yelling, Sam's gonna unleash the beast. Left, right. It's gonna hit every part of your body. It's a cardio workout, it's a strength workout in one. And that's exactly what Sam needed. Hard, 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 hard. <sighs> sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Come on, come on, Sam. She impressed me today. Now, I'm really looking forward to the remaining time that we have left to get her to where she needs to be and give her that little switch so that this is something that she can do for the rest of her life. Yeah, I hear you, Sam. Yeah. Come on, Sam, this is boot camp. Let's go, 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 go. Work, work, on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And you're done. Oh. Oh. Death. <laughs> Good to let it all out, but it's hard. Whew. Remember, I told you the last part More. of boot camp is going to be tough. This is what you have to expect. You've got a little while to go. You've got some pounds and some inches to drop, right? Uh, yeah. It was hard. <laughs> to get Sam motivated, 
I've decided to shock her with a glimpse of the future. I put a little something together for you just to act as a little bit of motivation. Keep in mind that what I'm going to show you is what could happen to you over the next 10, 15, 20 years if you continue an unhealthy lifestyle. Okay. What do I mean by unhealthy? Fries with ketchup, chocolate sundaes, lack of exercise. Sound familiar? Uh-huh. Okay. Take a look and let me know what you think. Okay. If Samantha puts on just four pounds a year, she'll expand to a massive 167 pounds by the time she's 40 in just seven short years. Oh my God. That was disgusting. <laughs> Not pretty at all. I was horrified that firstly, what I do look like and what I could look like. So it was double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, no, I cannot let that happen. Everything that we've been doing and everything we're gonna do, once that period's up, it doesn't stop there. You gotta maintain this and do it on your own. <sighs> All right, so you ready to get back to work? I am. Almost there, Sam. You're not gonna Look make up. me go up there. That's exactly where we're I at. couldn't feel my feet and my calves were burning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Samantha is frantic to regain the figure she had before becoming a mom. Push, 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 come on. After three weeks of grueling workouts and strict nutrition, Sam's desperate to drop 10 pounds and fit into a hot new outfit. I want to put the extra spark back into our relationship. I'm looking forward to seeing some of this. <laughs> but does Samantha have the strength to conquer the final challenge? A thigh-busting snowshoe ascent to the top of the mountain. Am I going to die? I brought a little surprise for you. Uh oh. Got a knapsack. You're gonna be carrying all that sugar you've been eating, all the fats. So we got some lard. And we can't forget your fries. Oh no. So you're gonna carry it one last time. Okay. Start running. <laughs> oh my god. Just push it, really focus on driving those knees up. Just like all those stairs that we did. Being an Aussie, we don't get to do stuff in the snow a lot, so it was great. You're not going to make up. me go up there. That's exactly where we're going. Oh, my God. You can do it, come on. Oh. There you go. Oh. Right up on those toes, right up on those toes. OK, stop for a minute, take a breath. You're doing great. Not bad for the final oh. challenge, huh? my God. <laughs> when I thought it couldn't get worse. <laughs> there were times I didn't know if Sam was going to make it. She's very strong mentally, and just like she's always done, uh, I keep pushing her and pushing her, and, you know, she responds. I couldn't feel my feet and my calves were burning. I thought I was going to die at first. Once we got up the first maybe three hills, I started pulling through, and then it was fun, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Sam. Oh. Wow. You made it. Was it worth it? It was worth it. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. You finished your final challenge? All right. I came through. I pushed through. So what do you want to do with that knapsack you complain about so much? Off with it. I'm so happy that I did it, and I'm proud of myself that I did it. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> You couldn't ask for anything more amazing. Hey, Sam. Hello. Samantha gave it her best, but was it enough to lose the pounds? You look great. Thanks. Nadine and I are very happy with your progress. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm so excited you haven't been cheating. No, can't believe it. <laughs> so, let's see what the numbers do say. OK. Bust. Bust. 36 inches. All right, down one inch. Okay. Nice work. Mm -hmm. Waist, 29. Four inches All in right. total. Hips, 37. Down two inches. All right. Gonna get you to stand on top. Okay. Number we've been waiting for. Weight, 133 pounds. Six pounds down in total. That's good. That's good. You're going in the right direction. Yeah, it's coming right. down week by week. 
And now that I know you have it in your routine, mm -hmm. it's gonna continue. It is. We're so not done out. yet. Uh-oh. We've got your target outfit. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, I'm coming out. All right. Oh, wow. Incredible. Looking great. I feel so much more alive and healthy and I bounce out of bed and I feel really, really good. So I'm on my way. Thank you for helping. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I was very happy for Sam. Uh, she lost six pounds. She lost lots of inches. More importantly, she feels great. She is consistently losing three pounds every two weeks, and if she continues on, she's gonna be into the 120s, and that's just gonna motivate her to work even harder. Samantha entered boot camp at 139 pounds and leaves a sensational 133. She may not have reached her target weight, but Sam's working out on a regular basis and eating a much healthier diet. Most importantly, Sam and Sean are ready to party. I think I'm gonna look hot on New Year's Eve now. Wow. And I know that he'll be really excited because I feel hot, so I think he'll be even more excited when he sees the outfit.